If you want to start looking for your first home, and I mean really looking, not just drinking wine and watching a shameful amount of House Hunters reruns, then we have some great tips for you. Welcome to this episode of Millennials to Millionaires, the show where we give you up-to-date tips on managing your money. My name is Mallory, this is Schwan, and this is Emily. Today, we're going to give you some top tricks to buying your first home. When buying a home, you'll need to have enough cash handy in order to make a down payment. The higher your down payment, the lower your monthly mortgage payment will be. Typically, you need to save 5 to 20% of the sales price in cash in order to qualify for a conventional mortgage loan. Housing hack. If you have money saved in your Roth IRA, you can withdraw it for a down payment without any tax penalty. Mortgage lenders will look at your gross income, your spending and saving habits, and your current debt to determine how much money they will loan you to purchase a home. Use the affordability calculator on Zillow.com or Yahoo Finance to find out the price point that will best fit your budget. Don't forget to give yourself some wiggle room to cover possible HOA fees, homeowner's insurance, or renovation costs. If you don't have a realtor in mind, you can check out reviews on Trulia.com by plugging in your city. You'll get a list of realtors, their star ratings, and how many homes they've sold. You can also see any active listings they have on the market. Real estate experts say that summer is the best time of year for home buyers. If you want a large selection of homes to explore, start looking in the summer. On the other hand, if you want your realtor to dedicate more time to you and your home search, you can start in the fall. But keep in mind the selection of homes might be smaller. In the real estate market, there will be times when house could have multiple potential buyers all placing bids around the same time. That means your bid needs to stand out from the rest. If you're in a hot housing market, sellers will typically be receiving multiple full price offers, so you need to at least match their selling price. Another option is to offer more earnest money, which is similar to a security deposit. If you don't, you can bet that the buyer behind you would be happy to make a full price offer and the seller will ignore your lower bid. Communicate that you're flexible with move-in dates. Most sellers can't move out as quickly as buyers want to move in. Let the seller know that you're happy to move in whenever it's convenient for them. That might just boost your bid to the top of their list. Your real estate agent will have you sign a contract that states you're willing to buy the home. You'll supply earnest money with the contract. The sellers can keep this money if you back out of the purchase for a reason that goes against your agreed terms. Then, you'll have to pay for an appraisal to make sure that the home you're buying is worth at least what you're paying. If the appraisal comes in too low, your mortgage lender can rescind its offer to loan you mortgage dollars. You also have the opportunity to schedule a home inspection. It is strongly suggested that you do so. The best place to find an inspector is on Thumbtack.com, where you can shoot out an inquiry and get inspectors to bid on the job for the lowest price. They'll tour the home and point out any concerns or problems with the property. You can have the seller fix these problems on their own dime, provide you with money to fix them, or reduce the price of the house. If both the appraisal and inspection go well, you can sign a stack of papers that transfers ownership of the home to you. We hope these tips help you to prepare your search for your first home. Have these tips been helpful for any house hunters out there? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear about your experiences. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sparkle, just like the stars in space. I don't know the rest of it. Feet off the ground, tie your shoes, wipe, wipe your, your face. face. Millennials to Millionaires is brought to you by our sponsors, Life's Best Insurances. Purchasing a home is a wonderful step forward, but don't forget that you're now financially responsible for paying off your mortgage and repairs. Having a life insurance policy can put you and those who depend on you at ease. The payout from a policy can be used to help your loved ones make mortgage payments or pay off the balance and allow them to stay in their home. Get a quote in a matter of seconds at lifesbestinsurances.com and secure your future.